Welcome everyone, Johnny Keck over at AMP Futures. Thank you for tuning in. In this video today, we're going to show you how to log into our trader. Uh, this is one of the free trading platforms that, have, that is available to use with AMP Futures. There are two versions of our trader. If you're not familiar with our trader, our trader is the proprietary software uh, that belongs to Rhythmic Technology, which is one of the data providers that we offer here at AMP Futures. There's regular R Trader and there's also R Trader Pro. The differences between the two versions, really R Trader Pro basically gives you charting capabilities as well as OCO functions where you can use bracket orders, for example. Uh, typically, the R Trader Pro version is 20 bucks a month. We will waive that for AMP customers, so that means the platform is free for you with no monthly cost. So it Pretty much if you're going to use RTrader, it would be a no-brainer for you to use RTrader Pro. The procedure to log into both platforms is exactly the same. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to log into RTrader Pro. And if you have not already downloaded the software, uh, be sure to go to our download center. This is the URL of the, the website, platformdownloads.com forward slash download dash center dot html. And you're going to see right underneath Sierra Charts, if you scroll down just a bit, you'll see RTrader and RTrader Pro. All right, so if you have no purpose of using OCO capability or strategies or whether or not you want to use charting within RTrader, then you could just simply download the regular RTrader. Otherwise, RTrader Pro would probably be the go-to uh, since we do waive the $20 monthly fee. Uh, now, I'm not going to go through the process of going through the installation process since I already have it installed on my computer, so we're going to keep the video short. But let's just simply show you how to log in. And one of the things I do want to mention is uh, we're going to show you how to log into a 30-day trial. So this is assuming that you don't have a live funded account with AMP Futures. You simply want to get into the platform, test drive it, just pay for trade for 30 days. And then, you know, pretty much from there, if you're ready to open the account, then you can go ahead and, and fill in an application. Otherwise, if you are logging into a live account, you do have a live funded account. You've already been assigned Rhythmic Data Credentials to log in. I'll also show you how to log into your live account as well. This, the procedure is fairly the same, it's just the difference is selecting the, uh, the server on the login screen, whether it's demo or live, which I'll go ahead and demonstrate. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and double left click the icon that you see on the top left corner there. This is the RTrader Pro. And as I mentioned, logging into regular RTrader is going to be pretty much the same. It, you'll see the same exact login screen. The only difference is you're not going to see the Pro logo there. Uh, and then what we're going to do is the system here, this is where you can see the drop-down menu. So if you're logging into your live account, you want to make sure you select Rhythmic 01. If you're logging into a 30-day trial or a paper trading account that we create for you once you have a live funded account, then you want to make sure that the system setting is set to Rhythmic Paper Trading. Disregard these co-location server settings here. This is specifically for co-location. So you're just really going to be focusing on Rhythmic 01 for live trading or Rhythmic Paper Trading if you're using a 30-day trial or if you have a permanent demo account login that we create for you at AMP Futures. Okay, so since I'm going to demonstrate logging into a, a demo account, I'm going to simply leave that system setting to Rhythmic tr Paper Trading. And then you should have already received a username and password whether you requested a 30-day trial off the website. And one thing that I do want to mention that's very important, the procedure to log into any Rhythmic Data Feed platform, you have to fill out CME certifications to specify whether you're a professional or non-professional trader. Uh, I, I'm not going to demonstrate that since I've already gone through the process. However, when you get the email, whether it's a 30-day trial or if it's a live funded account, you will receive a link in that email. And all you have to do is click on that link, log in with the credentials that, been, that have been assigned for you, and just simply follow the wizard. It's going to be a pretty straightforward process. It shouldn't take you any longer than two to three minutes to complete. Most of our customers are non-professional traders, so pro most likely you're probably going to select that setting. Of course, if you are a professional trader, be sure to select it. But the main thing is you have to complete those certifications in order for you to log into Rhythmic Data Feeds. Otherwise, if you don't complete that process, uh, you're not going to be able to log in. Okay, so since I've already completed it, I'm going to go ahead and type in my username and password to log into the platform. And uh, I don't have the username and password in an email right now, so I'm just going to simply type it in. However, I usually recommend copy and paste. It just helps eliminate human error. Therefore, you know, you're not going to have improper characters in the username and password, or you might. And also make sure there's no spaces before or after the username and password. So as you can see, for example, there's a little space after the M where it shows .com. That's going to be an invalid character when you log in. So just make sure that when you do copy and paste, it's a perfect copy and paste, uh, copy and paste with no spaces before or after. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and type in the password. And then you're going to hit that green arrow button, which is the login button. And in terms of, in, in terms of the gateway, typically Chicago area should be fine. If you live in Europe, you can select Europe. Uh, satellite link is fine. So it really doesn't matter which one you select. I, I usually go with the one that's closest to you. I'll just leave it on satellite link for now. But Chicago area should be fine if you live in the U.S. And then I'm just going to go ahead and hit the login button. And what you're looking for is progress, which you can see. And then 
the workspace will populate fairly quickly. And let me go ahead and bring it over to my other monitor. And this is what it looks like. So if you get to this stage, you're pretty much logged into the platform. That's, that's going to give you a successful confirmation that you were able to log in using the credentials that have been assigned for you. The one thing that I like about Rhythmic Trader is if you can't log in for any reason, uh, you're basically, you're going to get an error message right on the login screen. It's either going to say, please contact your administrator. It might say invalid username or password. So you're going to get some sort of error message letting you know that you can't log in. And there's no additional step after this in terms of connecting your data feed. So once you log in with the credentials that have been assigned to you, uh, you're going to be logged right into the platform. One of the things that I would mention that uh, you might want to give a shot in terms of opening up just to verify that you have logged in successfully to either your demo account or your live account is I would recommend clicking on the trader dashboard button that you see on the left side here and when you click on that it's going to bring up this little panel that you see here and from here you can see your account balance you can see the account number on file here so of course if you're logging into a live account you'll see your live AMP account number here and of course you're going to see the balance that you initially deposited into your account so you should know what how much money you have in your account and that's going to good that's going to be a good reflection of, of whether or not you logged into the platform successfully into the proper account so i would definitely do that first if you log in just click the trader dashboard button here and just look at the account balance and look at your account number make sure everything matches up and if it does then you successfully logged into the platform and then um, i'm going to show you just real quick how to pull up a dome i won't get too in detail on how to use the platform that will be for a different video for a different day but uh, typically the order book also is going to be known as the, uh, the depth of market or the dome within our trader so if i click order book uh, you can go and see there's a, on the top left corner here there's a symbol exchange population or field so you can double left click in that field and it's going to bring up the add symbol dialog box as you can see and then from here, you can see the list of exchanges that you have access to. So in this case, let's say I want to add the mini S&P, which trades under the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. And you can see the e-mini S&P, highlight it, I double left click on it. And what that will do, it will populate all the contract months for that specific symbol. So the, right now we're trading the June contract. So I'm going to go ahead and left click the June contract to highlight it. And I'm going to double left click. And then you're going to see now you have dome data populated okay so at this moment the market is closed it's 2 30 p.m california time it closed about 30 minutes ago so i don't have live market data but the one thing that you would you do want to make sure of is make sure you select the account number on the dome at the top there so therefore when you execute trades uh, you're mapped to the correct account and that's pretty much how you log into our trader whether you're logging into our trader regular or our trader pro it's the same exact procedure of what i've just demonstrated as i mentioned the main difference is, is that you have charting capabilities with our trader pro versus our trader non-pro so it pretty much is a, a no-brainer to use the pro version since we do waive the monthly fee uh, since the platform is free anyway so you might as well just use the pro version and other than that uh, that's pretty much how you log in if you have any questions we are a 24-hour support team around the clock please give us a call at any time we'll be happy to walk you through the process for more videos please visit our youtube channel the url to the website is www.youtube.com forward slash amp futures Again, that's www.youtube.com forward slash AMP Futures. Thank you for your time. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video. And happy trading.